Okay, you guys, so this video is a harvest video. Today is August 20th, and um, I feel like coming out here and just harvesting, harvesting, harvesting. We've been having some rain and stuff, but um, I had an issue yesterday, and this is part of why I just feel like do what you can while you can. It was a scary issue. Um... In one of the videos that I will be uploading of my grocery haul, I spoke to y'all about I was having some reflux issues. And I tried to go um, meat, um, tried to go plant-based all the way, but the, the sensation I was having in my chest was still there after a week. Um, so I went on and went to the emergency room yesterday, and after having a chest um, x-ray, an EKG, lots of blood work <laughs> um drawn up um they couldn't find nothing so that's a good thing um so it was my acid reflux hopefully was so they gave me some medicine like um this chalky drink i'm very used to that drink to, when i have to go to the hospital to kind of calm my nervous system and esophagus and stuff down um also i had to get um anxiety meds and and an iv an IV and a bag of fluids through IV um, and also some tablets to chew for any um, air and stuff that was in me so I feel better I was a bit loopy <laughs> um, because of the the meds to calm me down but today is a new day I feel better as of right now and I've had a whole physical <laughs> going there for them you know checks this rays EKGs and all that they draw so much blood um, they was looking for blood clots or anything like that they literally could not find nothing so but only thing they did say was my heart was beating fast and that's that's normal because I'm anxious and you know when you have anxiety that's what happens so the medicine they gave me through the IV was to calm me down so I went down to like a hundred beats after I got that medicine so I was like well up to almost <laughs> the last one I saw was 122 so I could have been a little higher um, but yeah, so just being thankful, I'm gonna come out here before it start back raining and you know, clip some of these this stuff that needs to be clipped. So here we go, y'all. I'm gonna leave y'all right there. Some of them has went bad. I thought I grabbed me some gloves. Uh, I thought I grabbed some gloves. Hold on, y'all. Let me get some gloves. All right, you guys, so I'm back. I got my gloves. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to. Some of these are bad. They got sunburn. So I'm just going to toss those. Um, and I'm just trying to relax, y'all. Make sure y'all can see. This one has started to turn another color. There we go. Um, oh yeah, y'all. We got a lot of peppers on here. A lot of peppers. I'm trying to get out the way so y'all can see me take them. There we go. And 
and it's pleasant out. It's not hot, hot. Um, very pleasant out. Yeah, I was scared to go to the hospital at first because of COVID and everything. But shoot, if something happened, you got to go, you got to go. So. In my case, you didn't, I didn't know what was going on. Just, you know, you had that sensation. And I knew it could have been acid reflux. But having, I've, I, for me to have acid reflux so long, and that went on for over a week, and I'm just like, no. Oh, I got some of the water. Water in my eye. Some of them coming right off. Um, this one is really, really burned. The Plablano tree is at the end of its life, y'all. If y'all can see. But I think I see one or two. They're small. But they're salvageable. So before I pull him up, I'm going to see what else he does. Um, I think I'm going to take off a lot of this dead... Um, and this one look like it's in good health. This one, let me see, I'm going to do this. I'm pretty much taking off the one that's dead. I think he's taking the life of the one that's still trying to produce. That one looks good. That piece. So, yeah. Huh? So, see, like it's, that one is a little mushy, too mushy in spots, but that's because I didn't come out here. So, I'm going to take all the mushy ones off, and because it's still green, like a lot of green, then... I'm going to see. I got that deadness off. So I'm going to see. What it produces. So I'm going to go around. I'll finish that from that side. And get that cleared out. Then we got some more banana peppers on that side too. Right here though. I got some jalapenos. That's done turned red on me. 
<sighs> and he's split. I've never ate a red jalapeno. Never. Never ate a red one. I'm going to take some of these little ones because if I don't take them, they're going to go ahead and turn. Y'all, look at Miss Summer down here being nosy. Summer. Summer. So. So I have a lot of them on here. And it's like they done start turning. They're starting being really small, so I might as well pick them smaller now because that's how they're turning out being ready. And it may be that they're just getting to like the end, but there's a lot of them on here, and I'm tired of losing them. Um, like right here. That's a pretty one, but he done turned red. And he cracked up and he's flesh open, so I'm not keeping him. It may be a critter up in there. Oh, sorry y'all if I'm burping. That's part of some of the medicine they gave me at the hospital last night. Um, it's still getting me today, which I'm thankful because I was really, really sick. That's why y'all hadn't been getting um, the videos from me. My digestive system just was thrown off. Um, I think it was like I would have a beer or a wine. And I think the acidity and um, stuff from that. So I have taken myself completely off for now. I won't have my standard drink. I'm going to leave it alone. Because that may be aggravating me. Because um, I definitely don't want to feel that again like something trying to come up my esophagus or whatnot. And once they said chest x-ray, I was scared. Because I know that was looking at my, um, taking a picture of my heart and stuff. And I didn't know what was going on. I'm like, I eat healthy. I try. I live a healthy lifestyle, so I try other than having anxiety. But hey, you just never know. This one cracked a little bit, but it don't look like it's open. Oh, yes it is. See, I don't want them to get. See, they get this big, they too ripe, and it's hard. So these are the mild jalapenos. So that lets me know they are ready to be. They gave a couple of big ones. But now, as it, as this tree has life, when they get that big, they start um, scarring and stuff. So, because I'm freezing them, now you can keep those and eat them if you're going to eat them soon, if you want, and there's been no opening. But I'm going to be freezing some of these. So, the ones that's like that, I'm just not keeping them because when I freeze, I want to freeze with you know no scar no nothing <sighs> so I have to I think I have to get the rest from the other side Yeah, I have to get the rest from the other side. Now let's go to right here. This is the pimento pepper. And we got one that's turning red. So I'm going to go ahead and take him. He can finish turning in the house. We have a couple peppers on here. Okay, right here is the bell pepper. This is the Big Bertha, and it's intertwining with the purple bell. So,
Okay, this one is has a bite mark. This is another one. Um, but I won't be keeping it because something actually got into there. And this is just me not coming out harvesting when I should have been. So I have to chunk that one. You want this one? Because it's actually open. Okay. This one is too. Something been out here. My bad. Something been out. That's why I'm gonna take them, um, y'all. And he's all scarred up. I'm not gonna take them. The one's turning red. So I'm gonna have to come out here and get these. Now that I know the size, this is my first time growing them. Now that I know the size of them, and there's plenty more on here. Now that I know the size of them. I figure this out. Some of the water went in my mouth. Um, now that I know the size of them, I know once I start seeing that red, to come get it. So that'll be alright. It's a lesson learned. Good thing it's waterproof. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go right here to purple bales. Purple bells. So, I got two down here hanging. They're really good. This one is scorched. Yeah. Okay, it has stopped recording, y'all, but we own it the purple bell. I think I said yellow bell, but purple bell. Look at what? Oh. I'll get some and put there, something like that. Alright, y'all, so we still, um, <laughs> very small. Oh, we got some way down here. We also got a bad one. He, uh, he ain't make it. Look, y'all, y'all can see that? Let me zoom y'all in. Y'all see that down here? Different, um, different ones. Well, there's like a cluster, but this one is bad. Got one more left. 
little one. They were just bunched up down there having a party. All right. So, we're going to go inside and pick some of the same ones. I'm just getting the outside. Um, right. Oh, yay. I'm going to get them from the inside. Those are the Carolina, and Ta Carolina Italian peppers. I'm going to get those from the inside. Let me get some of this deadness off. This is my yellow bell, I think. No, this is the orange bell. This is the yellow bell. Yellow bell still going doing good. My orange bell struggling. Why I don't know, so I'm gonna take some of this deadness off and see if I can get her to grow. Cause they like dried up or something. I don't know. She didn't got plenty of water, so I cut a little off and see if I can get her to. grow like regrow stuff if not I get her up and put some else in the pot um, my yellow bell over here is doing good got more peppers on it so I'm gonna leave her got some peppers up here so yeah right here is hubby's um, smoking eggs Carolina Reaper peppers so he has some peppers to take off I don't know when he's taking them off. When are you going to take them off? You want to take them off now? Okay. He's going to take them off for y'all now. So, you guys can watch him take them off. Not sure what he's going to do with them. But... This thing is producing a lot of peppers because he's already taken some. And I added that, a video of that on Instagram. So if you on Instagram, um, Mama's Healthy Lifestyle, go ahead over there and, um, and follow me over there because I do, I have been uploading clippets and family things and stuff like that, but also clippets and stuff of the garden and stuff like that i've been uploading over there so um yeah and i will put the name of that in the description box how to spell it and all but it's very simple mama healthy lifestyle so yeah y'all Them all the one you get? Are you done? You're not gonna get. Yeah, you got one, two, or you gonna let them get redder? Okay, so this is what he got, y'all. Let's see, right there. So that one and the one he dropped. Go over that way, son. Right there. That is what he um just picked off that tree a whole cup of them and I will not be eating them of course <laughs> but yeah all right so let's go inside of pepper land So we're inside of Pepperland where I will continue the inside of the peppers. So yeah. So like I was saying y'all, we are back inside of Pepperland. I had to pause for a minute because I needed to go and um, um, spray myself. Um, a little bit more from these mosquitoes 
and I'm still feeling the effects of the fluids from last night so you know how that goes ah <sighs> so yeah we're back so let me get this stuff right here that I threw away from the other tree from the tree so I'll move it right here and get that it looks like I need to prune them over here a little bit yeah it looks like I need to prune this side of that poblano pepper so I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, So, clean that up a little bit. And you see how I say she likes, she's still producing some. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and take this off because I know it's not good. Um, but, I got a few small ones right here. And I want them to stay good, so I'm going to go ahead and take them off. I did not see. Let me see. Yep. I got to go around there real quick, y'all. I did not see these. But they are bad. But I definitely want them off. Alright, so the three I pulled off from over there was bad, so I definitely wanted them off. Um, and like when plants get to the end of their life, they'll still produce for you. The size of it just may not be as big as it was when it started. You know, you think about it, it get older and it it's still pushing, but, but that's alright though, we're going to get it. You can eat peppers at almost any stage, you know, so. Alright, so now is the rest of these banana peppers. Um, I got this one down here that needs to go. It's no good. But I got all these banana peppers. You guys can see that I'm about to be trying to see, make sure you guys can see that I'm about to be harvesting. There we go. So.
the peppers, y'all. I hadn't harvested them in a while. So, I think I pretty much got everything. This is a pretty, you can see, yellow. So, I think that's it for the banana pepper plant. Um, everything else can stay. Right here is the jalapeno the jalapeno plant so it has some redness on this side so I'm going to go ahead and take those off those are not good Peppers. Hold up, y'all. A lot of peppers. This one's not good, but these are. All right, I'm trying to get these red ones off because I know they're not good. All right, y'all, we about to get some of these, um, some more of these jalapeno peppers before it gets too hot out here. So. There's a lot of them on this side. There's a lot of them right here. Y'all see that? And like I say, these are the mild jalapenos. I'm on a too small. So I want to get the bigger ones off so the real small, small ones can produce. <laughs> Keep dropping them. This one was finna turn. So it looks like over here is just a lot of. But see, even the little one is scorched. So I have to really, really watch because they are producing a lot. See? 
It's almost like the end of life for them. <laughs> so, I'm going to let them produce as much as I can. Just taking off the bad ones. Um, yeah. So, let's go right here. We are back over here in the... Ooh. Okay, y'all. Something was over here. Some type of creature, and it scared me. <laughs> so, uh, let's see. I'm trying to show y'all the inside of where the purple bells was. Because that's what I'm about to pick. Y'all can see this. He can finish turning in the house. This one is good. These two got a little bit more turn. I'll let them stay out. Um, this is another purple bell. You guys can see. Right here. Um, and it's got some I'm going to take. Trying not to cut the flowers. Because if I don't take them, they'll go bad. We have this one right here. Let's see if I can bring y'all down so I know. This one right here. Go ahead and tape. Alright. Over here is the Carolina Italian Peppers. And we have a lot of them that has turned red. It took a long time to get these things to turn red. We had to take like the first batch off. And then they just been turning ever since. Nice. And it's a Carolyn, corn, not say Carolyn, Corman Italian Sweet Pepper. Got down because this one sits kind of low. Alright, so that's it for those. Come right here. I have a yellow bell that was turning, but looks like it's bad. Something has already started eating it. So, yep. So, 
right here. Waiting on these. This is a giant Maconi. And if I wait on this to um to turn red, I may lose it. So I'm going to go ahead and take it. Because I have lost some waiting on them to turn red. Some got to that one. It's a whole minute. I just pruned it up a little bit. So I went back and put this. I'm trying to prune them as I go. This was the um, mild banana peppers. I went on and pruned them. So yeah, so let's go on over here and see what else. Can you get that? See what else um we can get because that's pepper land. So look at my hibiscus, y'all. It opened. They've been opening off and on. I put a picture. It's a picture on Instagram of when one opened. So I think I'm gonna go over here first and get this okra. Y'all, I got some okra that's too big. It's too big, but I'm gonna still use it. Um, it got a little bit too big for me, but that's all right. I'm still gonna use it. So I don't know if you guys can see, but right here, is, my thing don't want to act right, right here, is some oats on. I'm going to cut that. I like I did. I hope that don't, I hope it repairs itself. like I lost one over here this is a okra tree right here okra tree right here and as you can see the branch broke so I'm just gonna take it off ain't no okra well I'm gonna take it off you know what I'm gonna do I'm going to stick it in an empty bucket and see what it does. Huh? Yeah. So we got an empty bucket right here. And it may work and it may not. So I'm going to take this. Because it's got buds and stuff on it. I'm going to see what that do. Um, let me go around here and get some more okra. You ain't got a hole that I know it's here. All right, y'all, so, next, um, I got some Black Beauty eggplants that's going to be ready, but right now, I got a couple of these, um, Japanese eggplants that's ready, so, 
And these are so good, y'all. The Ichabod eggplant. I'm a little, little. So, um, let's go over here and look and see what the cucumbers are doing. I know there's not none yet, but they are doing good. Um, it's about time for me to fertilize them, so I may come out here and do that. Um, but they're doing good. They'll be producing soon. Soon. And I think that's it for my harvest, y'all. I think that's it. Um, I can show you guys what the lettuce is looking like. Yeah, this is the salad bowl lettuce and stuff I came up with while I had started. And everything is doing really good growing really really well um i gotta drop some more seeds out here but everything is doing really good so i hope you guys enjoyed this harvest i'm gonna, I'm gonna rinse it right here out of that one i hope everybody is um enjoying this harvest um i will do i have a a tour for y'all i need to put up and um that's already done and then i need to do another tour because i see some things that's happened in the garden um so yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to look for my instagram in the description box um and y'all be safe and um i'll see you in the next one girl it's been a while since i told